oftentimes people try to change their life by doing more rather than by changing that imprint. Hello, I am Jess and I'm a women's transformation coach and I'm so excited that you're here. I want to speak about the one thing that you have to do to change your life. I can tell you, I've been on my own transformation journey for years and I didn't get this one piece for so long. And I wish I would have known this one piece so much earlier because it would have saved me time. It would have made things so much easier. And I didn't know. I didn't know what I didn't know. Let's talk about um, being a human being with an experience on this planet Earth, how you want to call it, and knowing that the moment that we are born, we start to receive imprints from the environment, from our people in our life, from the people that are raising us, our grandparents, parents, teachers, friends, all of the experiences that you are having since being a baby, all of that gets imprinted on you and creates you, the human being that you are today. It makes you believe certain things. It makes you see the world a certain way. It is also the reason why you are where you are right now. Oftentimes, people try to change their life by doing more rather than by changing that imprint. That imprint is like a deeply ingrained belief system, like a deeply ingrained part of you. And as we grow up, many of us are not questioning the truth of these imprints. We believe this is just what it is. This is just who we are. And we don't challenge ourselves to understand or to realize that that imprint is no longer serving our highest self. We can also see it in a way where people say, oh, I'm just a procrastinator, or I'm just like this or that. Well, oftentimes that stems from that imprint you have gotten and received, and you never questioned to change that imprint. You never questioned to change the way that you live in this world. There are great examples of people who have had a certain imprint in their life that if they would have continued with that imprint, they wouldn't be where they are today, right? When we look at very successful people who literally worked themselves from the ground up, understood this concept as well, that they needed to change the foundation of who they are at the core. In order for this to not be too complicated and too dramatic, instead of trying to change the entire imprint, the first step to changing your life is by realizing that right now there are parts of you that are no longer serving you. There are parts of you that you got to let go of. That letting go process is harder than creating a new habit. Many people try to create a new habit and fall off very quickly. The reason for that is not that the habit is too hard or too complicated or not attainable. It's because their old imprint is not familiar with this new habit and their old imprint doesn't like the unfamiliar. Many of us, we are living in our comfort zone. If we like our life or we don't, we still have a comfort zone that we live in, in an unconscious way. Many people like to stay in that comfort zone, even though they don't like their life as it is right now, rather than to try to do things differently to step outside of that comfort zone. Because that, in a person's mind, creates uncertainty and can create a feeling of unsafety. Because as we're in a comfort zone, even if we might not like our life right now, this is the familiar. We like to be here. So once we step out of that, that can feel scary. That can feel like this is new. What does this mean? What is going to happen? And a lot of people don't like that feeling of uncertainty. In order for us to be able to step outside of that comfort zone and to create a new habit, to create a new life, the first step is to let go of a part of ourselves 
that right now is not serving us. That part can be something like always looking for excuses, always finding a reason why this is not gonna work, or that part of you that is scared of the unknown, or that part of you that always goes through life with struggles. Realizing that these parts of you are a choice. You couldn't choose what you were imprinted on as a child, that is not in your control, but you get to decide as an adult to continue down that path or to rewrite your story. And that is where you decide to take your power back. In order for you to change your life, you got to also be willing to take your power back and look at the uncomfortable. Look at the parts of you that got you to where you are today and realizing that there are parts of you that you got to leave behind. We got the part of letting go of a piece of you that you need to let go of, that part of you needs to die in a way. That doesn't mean that this part of you will no longer exist. You choose for it not to come up. It's a conscious choice that also will require you to become conscious of the life that you're living, to become conscious of the thoughts that you're having, of the feelings that you're having, and realizing that maybe in some moments, these thoughts and feelings that you're having are not serving you or your growth. In a way, it also starts with becoming very, very clear on what it is that you want, what it is that you don't want, and recognizing that whenever you're falling back into old patterns, it's recognizing that these old patterns are showing up for you to be able to shift them again. This is not a process of doing it once and it's happened and it's integrated, no. This is a process of dedication and of consistency. Rather than focusing on what you have to do on the physical, it's focusing on who you need to be and what parts of you are not welcomed in that new version of yourself that you're creating. Because once you do that, when you let go of the parts of you that are no longer serving you, you will start to see that you will make different choices. You will take different actions. And through that, your life will start to change. This is not an easy process. This is a process that many people have to grow into. But I can't stress this enough, how many years I see people struggle running around in circles, trying to change their actions without actually changing at the core of what is going on on a deeper level. That needs to change first. You need to understand that you're no longer your past and you get to decide to change that today. A great example of that is people who want to lose weight and go on a diet and do all of the things they need to do, but inside of them, they still feel like a failure, they still feel like they will never reach their weight goal, they still feel not good enough, not beautiful, whatever that might be, even though action-wise they're dieting, inside their self-talk is still negative, these people are the ones that go on a diet and fall back into old habits because they haven't changed that imprint of who they think they are at the core. This type of work will not immediately have its effects. If today you say to yourself, okay, I will start being kind to myself. Instead of saying mean things to myself, myself, I will start being kind to myself. You might not believe it the first, second, or third day yet. It might not make any sense to you when you start saying those things to you. But I can tell you that with time, your unconscious mind will follow through. Because think about it, you've been living with that imprint for how many years? However old are you? You've had a certain imprint you've been living by for so many years, so many years. If you've heard as a child, since you were, I don't know, four or five years old, that you're not good enough, you're carrying this imprint into your 40s if you don't decide to change that today. If for three days you tell yourself that you are good enough and you don't feel a difference yet, it's normal. Because for 40 years, you've carried that imprint of not being good enough. So what needs to happen 
is you got to stay consistent and you got to look for proof that the moment you start to change your self-talk, you let go of the parts that are no longer serving you, whatever that is, you will also start to see differences in your life. And these pieces should be the proof of how capable you are to change your life. I believe in you, you got this. So ask yourself as a little homework today, what parts of you do you need to let go of? And start small, it doesn't need to be a million parts right now, but ask yourself what one part of myself, if I let that go, I know my life will look different. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching this, it means a lot. I'm sending you so much love and I'll see you very soon.